Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? Welcome back to the channel. I want to wish everybody a happy holiday season and a happy new year. Uh, before I get started with today's video, I want to give a special shout out to the patrons over on Patreon. If you guys want to get involved with the Patreon community, we've got links in the description box for that. You can see here on the screen capture, we've got images of what you'll see when you try to gain access there. There are as little as $1 tiers, $2 tier, and $3 tier to get involved with the community, help support productions here on the SMT YouTube channel, and get special access, unique access to videos found nowhere else specifically for the patrons. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with today's content. So this one is all about Dish. Dish serving as the new fourth carrier involved in the T-Mobile and Sprint merger. One of the things that's being questioned, and of course it's legitimate, will Dish actually serve as a, um, I guess we'll say a legitimate fourth national competitor. Obviously the focus for Dish is going to be building out a nationwide 5G standalone network. We won't see a usable commercial 5G network from them no earlier than probably the end of 2020. All of that hinges upon the merger trial, of course, but they will have legitimate access to an LTE network immediately through T-Mobile as an MVNO. And of course, Dish will be in a position to operate their own network as that MVNO, as well as building out their own 5G standalone. So testimony from Charlie Ergen is key here. You know, Dish Network's chairman, he indicates that he has secured, you know, 20 to 30 billion dollars in loans from different banks, money to deploy and build out that 5G network. Of course, they are going to be receiving 14 megahertz of 800 megahertz low band spectrum from Sprint in the deal. They also receive somewhere between like 9 and 10 million customers from the prepaid side of Sprint from Boost Mobile, Virgin Mobile and the rest of Sprint's prepaid. So many pundits are concerned about Dish serving as a prepaid carrier and supporting and giving access to low-income consumers. I personally agree with this. I am concerned as well. But the agreement with the DOJ and the FCC does state that they will cover 70% of the U.S. with 5G by 2023, or they will face a $2.2 billion fine, which they will be giving to the Treasury, the United States Treasury. So in my opinion, I think that's enough uh, to kind of keep them honest and make sure that they do follow these guidelines and these timelines as well. Uh, obviously, $2.2 billion may not seem like a lot of money, I think, but to any company, they don't want to pay that type of heavy fine. So I think they will be motivated to reach the goals and those guidelines set by the FCC and the DOJ. Anyways, you think about that money, 20 to $30 billion in secured loans, that probably covers them for the first year or two. Well, what do they do beyond 2022 and 2023? They're going to require investment. And that's where deals from Charlie Ergen are going to be critical. He's going to be looking to find investors, form partnerships, those that will be close to Ergen have been reporting this. Google, Apple, and Amazon rank highly on Charlie Ergen's list. I think Amazon makes lots of sense. Endless piles of money, tons and tons of spending that they could supply. Almost like a never-ending supply of money. Uh, they obviously want in on some form of access to a network for their operations in the future. And a 5G network makes total sense. Google also was named, so... You know, they are an MVNO currently. I think that makes things kind of complicated. How do they go about terminating that contract and then proceeding with access with Dish or getting in as an investor? Uh, you don't want conflict of interest there, obviously. Also, you think about Apple. I kind of like this one, actually. Apple considering a satellite operation for iPhone access. That's kind of in like the research phases and the very early infancy stages of that research. But again, you, know, you think about Dish, they have experience in operating satellites, so that does kind of seem to make sense. Tim Cook, aka of Tim Apple fame, meetings with Trump about you know technology and possibly helping with 5G network deployments, that seems to make a lot of sense. Now, all three of these companies, Google, Apple, as well as Amazon, want some form of 5G access moving into the future. They could come in as investors. You know, make sure you could put these, you know, dish into a position where they can have legit access to 5G network deployments. You know, you think about that amount of money that they all have, you know, building out that 5G standalone network is going to require a lot of money. And these companies could definitely provide it. I think neither Amazon nor Google require loans. They're just they have that much money. They don't really have to secure loans. I mean, what would dish require? Another 10 to 20 billion annually would put them in a great position to be able to build things out very quickly and have like truly national coverage by 2023. And then who who knows what they could do by 2025. Uh, each company expands Dish's portfolio 
to having access to lots of unique uh, types of contracts. You could see like Apple with Apple Music and other services. You could see Amazon as well with music, Google with Amazon Prime. Uh, for Amazon and then Google with Google Play Music, uh, Google and Apple involved in device partnerships potentially, ad, ad opportunities. There's so much there that they could kind of look into. Uh, go ahead and comment below what you guys think of these three companies. Uh, do you like any one of them or do you like more than one of them for this partnership with Dish? Uh, also, you know, do you think one of them is more likely than any of the others? Uh, do you want other companies involved, maybe cable operators? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Go ahead and comment down in the comment section below. Let me know the pulse of the SMT Nation. Love to hear what you guys have to say and your thoughts and opinions. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you could, please do me a solid. Hit that like button and hit that share button and send it out to some of your favorite social media platforms. Also, if you haven't done so already, maybe you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of the holiday season. I am the SMT, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.